Residents who hailed from the Kavango and other northern regions gathered at a local church to pay homage to the 16 family members who died of food poisoning at Kayova village in Kavango East. The incident sent shockwaves to many across the country. They urged their peers in other regions to reflect on the reason why the people died and further joined forces to overcome hunger and poverty. Recognizing the importance of collective efforts, residents who gathered at Valfis Bay emphasized the significance of investments in their respective regions to contribute to the overall well-being and development of their communities. The cause of this tragedy was hunger. The children that have passed away lived a tough life. They used to survive from fishing, but at times they used to go and beg for food. We have lost these children who were supposed to be the breadwinners of that house, and one of them was supposed to complete grade 11 this year, but he also passed on. This has affected us. This death is not all about Kavango. It's about Namib. In 15 children, they were supposed to become ministers. They were supposed to become preachers. They were supposed to become doctors. It's very painful. We are all visitors on this earth. Death is loved by no one, and we shall all die one day. Death is horrible, and we will never get used to it, because it always robs us of our loved ones. I am therefore encouraging all of us to support each other and work as a team the same way we have gathered here in numbers. We also want to show our gratitude to the family in Kavango that we are together, they are not alone, but we are together with them and also to assist them with the little that we can get from the offering of the gathering. The group raised to more than $3,000 to assist the family with funeral expenses. Renata Rinkura, NBC News, Valfis Bay.